Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Ripcord in Ableton Live. If you don't know what Ripcord is, basically it's a free MIDI plugin that allows you to create and remix chord progressions. So first things first, you're going to want to load up Ripcord, which I already have. I'm going to close this for now. Next, you're going to load up your virtual instrument. Then you're going to adjust the uh, MIDI input type by selecting all ends and selecting ripcord. And next you're going to select your input channel and you're going to select ripcord. And next you're going to turn uh, monitoring on by pressing the end button. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to, you're going to arm both tracks. I already had them armed, but I'm going to just do it again. You can do that by pressing control or command on your keyboard and selecting both. All right, now that we have our MIDI routing set up, we are going to open Ripcord. And next, we're going to select a preset. I'm going to be using Prisms 3 uh, preset bank from renderaudio.com, a pretty dope preset bank. And I'm just going to select, um, let's see here, pop R&B. Now, when I hit this note here, it's gonna send MIDI to Analog Lab. And now we can adjust these parameters here and it's gonna allow you to strum your chord. So now it's strumming and this allows you to, I believe to humanize it a little bit more. So we can adjust that as well. And if we wanna mess with the velocity, I believe this is it, or the hammer. So you basically can mess around and tweak it to your liking. Now that we have our bank selected, we're gonna close Ripcord out. And what we can do now is just basically insert a MIDI clip or you can play on your MIDI controller. But for this, I'm just gonna use the piano rule. And next, all I have to do is hit record. I'm going to turn off uh, the monitoring so that if I press play, it doesn't send the MIDI signal to uh, Analog Lab. All right, so here we have our MIDI. I can select it and then, you know, I can tweak it if I want, change the velocity of the notes. Yeah, it's a pretty dope program. Um, it has an online community of other uh, individuals where they upload uh, their own presets. If you hit community presets, they'll take you there. Yeah. Um, so that's basically it. That's how you use Ripcord. I uh, hope you guys find this uh, tutorial useful. I'll see you next time.